ان الحمد لله ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له ونشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله وحبيبه وخليله صلى الله عليه وعلى اله ومن تبعهم باحسان الى يوم الدين اما بعد فقد قال الله تعالى في كلامه العظيم بعد اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والشمس وضحاها والقمر اذا تلاها والنهار اذا جلاها والليل اذا يغشاها والسماء وما بناها والارض وما صحاها ونفس وما سواها فالهمها فجورها وتقواها قد افلح من زكاها قد افلح من زكاها وقد خاب من دساها صدق الله وقال نبينا وحبيبنا صلى الله عليه وسلم حديث طويل الا ان في الجسد مضغه اذا صلح صلح الجسد كله واذا فسد فسد الجسد كله الا وهي القلب او كما قال عليه الصلاه والسلام all praise and glory be to almighty allah subhanahu wa ta'ala creator nourisher sustainer provider protector controller of every single thing in this peace and sanctification be upon our beloved master who has been sent as a mercy to the entire universe beloved our master and leader rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam upon his family members companions and upon every single muslim brothers and sisters who follow who is following and will follow the sunnah of our beloved nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam till the day of qiyamah my dear respected brothers beloved elders i would like to remind myself and each and every one of you fear allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in every injunction in your life in every situation in your life in every trial and turbulence that you're going to face in this world and obey and stay away from all those things that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has forbid and obey the sunnah of beloved rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam lead a life of taqwa and obey the imam and the amir and live with unity my dear respected brothers and elders in islam we are living in an era we are living in a time where the science the technology have reached the highest way in the human history it has never been there in the human history that human being had never explored and never gone so far scientifically and we look into the all the effort that have put into this worldly achievement worldly manufacturing or worldly material things that has reached very very far and very high 100 years before our ancestors would, would have never thought about it 200 years before our forefathers have never would have thought about it human being will be living in such a comfortable and a such a comfortable and a situation where everything has made it easy for us but unfortunately while the human being is spending his energy his time his ability his wealth all the talent and the power and time given to him by almighty allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in order to flow in order to introduce in order to take and introduce many new things in this world many things that will add value that will make our life easy and we think we will live a luxurious life in this world but unfortunately human being we have forgot to make a third on ourselves while human being have reached such high and such high reach in the human history same time human being when it comes to moral 
morally, psychologically, are facing a huge crisis right around the world. Huge destruction right around the world. Basic human values, basic human qualities, basic characteristics and ethicals have been forgotten and we are walking away from those things. My dear respected brothers and elders in Islam, the very reason why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends the Prophet, why Allah sends the Prophet to this world in order to remind human beings and in order to make a bird on us. If we neglect ourselves, if we neglect our soul, if we neglect that the duty that we have to do towards the Creator who has given us everything, my respected brothers, we will, we are the most honorable creation in this earth. We are the most honorable creation in this earth. Allah has designed us. Allah has beautified us. Allah has created us in the most beautiful way. Allah affirmed us in Holy Quran. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَقَدْ كَرَّمْنَا وَلَقَدْ كَرَّمْنَا بَنِي Adam," We have given honor, status, respect for the Bani Adam, children of Adam. And then Allah says in another ayah, لَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ فِي أَحْسَنِ تَقْوِيمِ We have created insan, the human being, in the most beautiful way. No one, nobody, no doctors, no scientists can say that there is a fall. Human beings shouldn't have been created in this way. So much Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has perfected our creation. Allah has perfected us. In the same words, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, I have created him so honorably, so respectfully, so beautifully. But what does he do? But he returned himself into the most lowest category. He goes into the most low and the most cheapest, most, you know, uh, disrespectful way. He returns, he turns himself away from this honor. My respected brothers and elders in Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have clearly explained to us we are the most honorable creation. Allah has given us the power to control and govern this entire universe. This is given to us by Allah, the Creator Allah. This is not an ability that we got him. Allah gave us. Through that ability, through that talent, through the intellect that Allah has given us, we are exploring so many things in this world. We have reached so high, but we have forgotten ourselves. We have forgotten ourselves. We are neglecting ourselves and we are concentrating on all the other material things and we have adding, we have add value for it. My dear respected brothers and elders in Islam, we need to concentrate and look into ourselves. If you look at the thing, when a human being is a combination of two parts, human being is a combination of two. One is the physical body. The physical body and another one is the soul. Both together, that's what we call a human being. Soul alone is not being called human. Neither a body alone, we will never call it, it is only a body, it's a dead body. Soul alone will not be called as human. Neither a body alone, we can address him a human, we will say it's a dead body. We will never address him by his name. We will only address him saying by dead body. Combination of both, it's a human being. But my respected brothers, the entire world, the science, even you go to the universities, everywhere, the studies, they promote, they invent, they spend time in what? Introducing things in order to satisfy our body. To take care of our body. Why do we need doctors? Why do we need doctors? In order to take care of our health, our physical appearance, our health. This is the need of our body. Why do we need chefs? where they have cookery classes all over. Why? In order to satisfy our tongue and the tongue. All these things, you, you go around in the world, all the efforts are taking place in order to satisfy our physical body. If you see the cosmetic industry, it's a multi-billion dollar business. Multi-billion dollar business, cosmetic industry. How much of money they are pumped in and how much they are, how much they are selling. I was the other day driving around, there was a billboard in the street saying that just a nail polish, a nail polish 
It says they have introduced a nail polish. They have more than they have more than three million customers. They have more than three million customers and so many countries. They have so much of people. It's just a nail polish. You go through and see. In order to take care of our body, how much of things they introduce, and how much money we spend, and how much time we spend. I am not saying neglect your body. Our beloved Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam has said, "Inna li badani kaha." Your body has a hak, right? You need to take care of it. It is given to you by Allah. You need to take care of your health. Yes, you need to go and visit the doctor and get his advice. I'm not saying no, but what I'm trying to say that same way you give so much importance for one part of your one part of you that is your body, and you neglect the soul that is the life. That is the current. That is the fuel which makes your body run, function. The soul has been neglected. The body is in a human being form. He looks the most handsome, very educated, very intelligent. He has all the degrees, but his inner feeling, his nerve, his soul is like an animal. He is looking at opportunity. If I can grab from this man, I will grab him. If I can rob him, I will rob him. If I can kill him, it is just my desire. In the form of human being, they have become like animals. The reason is soul. The reason is nafs. The soul. Our beloved Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam clearly said in the hadith: "Ala inna fi al-jasad mubga. Ida saluhat saluh al-jasad kullu. There is a piece of flesh." The soul is attached to that. Doctors can, you know, they can come out, diagnose, and say this is the medication, everything. But no doctor can stop, and no doctor can give life back to a person. It is in Allah's hand. When it's asked about, when it asks, you know, the the Quraysh came and asked Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam about the rope. The science has advanced so much. Can a science say from where does this roof come from? This soul come from? Allah clearly explains, "Kul roofu min amri Rabbi." It is a command of Allah. It functions only through Allah's command. Kul roofu min amri Rabbi. It is through the command of Allah. This heart belongs to Allah. The roof belongs to Allah. That's what functions the entire body. We need to take care of. It. How our body needs care. Our body needs lot of rest. When you become tired, the body needs rest. When you feel hungry, the body needs food. When you feel thirsty, the body needs drink. You know all these things. When you feel ill, the body needs medication. Same way, this soul, this heart also has so many needs. But human being neglects his needs. What? Body feels so much. The heart feels so many needs. Why does it feel so worried? Anxiety. He cannot sleep. Restless. He cannot find solution. No contentment. He has everything in the world, but no happiness. My dear respected brothers and elders in Islam, you know the body will be comfort and will be pleased with all those things what you find in this world, in this earth, because it is for me. Allah has created this body from the soul. Allah has created from there, so it will be happy and content whatever comes from there. But this roof, this soul, it comes from Allah. It will only be content with the zikr of Allah. It will only be be content to connect himself with the Creator, with the Creator. The soul will only be content with the wahi, the revelation of Allah, and all those things which come and come from heaven. Allah bi zikrillah tasma inul kulu bihoor and no. That the soul, the soul, the heart will find contentment, happiness, tranquility only in the remembrance of Allah. Only by the remembrance of Allah. My dear respected brothers and elders in Islam, our beloved Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam has taught us a practical life. When every injunction we are remembering Allah, 
But unfortunately, we are only uttering those dua verbally. We don't have any feeling. When you enter the masjid, all of us have read that dua. Allahumma gfir li zambi wa ftah li abwaab rahmati. Oh Allah, forgive my sins and open the doors of mercy. When we read it, when we read this, did we have any feeling that I'm reading this dua to Allah? I'm praying this, I'm connecting myself with Allah. We didn't have that feeling, we just read it. We get the reward, but the benefit that we're supposed to get from it, we will never get. Because this heart has to connect ourselves, the heart and the soul has to connect with Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My respected brothers and elders in Islam, taking care of our soul, taking care of our soul, treating our soul, you know, actually training our soul in order to control all the desires, this is called purification of heart. Our hearts have to be purified. Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in Surah Al-Shams, I begin my, I begin my sermon by reading the Surah Al-Shams. In Surah Al-Shams, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Surah, in the beginning, says, Oath on seven things, وَالشَّمْشِ وَبُحَاهَا وَالْقَمَرِ إِذَا صَلَاهَا Allah takes continuous the oath and in Allah says, قَدْ أَفْلَحَ مَنْ تَقْقَاهَا the one who has purified the heart, only he is the victorious. Ibrahim alayhi salam, Ibrahim alayhi salam was making dua, a supplication to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, raising his hands and he said, وَلَا تُخْذِنِي يَوْمَ يُبْعَثُونَ Ya Allah, do not disgrace me, do not disgrace me on that day of resurrection. Oh Allah, do not disgrace me on that day of resurrection. يَوْمَ لَا it's a such day where our wealth, neither our children, no manpower, no wealth will not help us. Here, when we say, okay, I can do whatever I want, I have manpower, I can call so many people, they are with me, and then I can buy people, I can do whatever I want, money talk. Ibrahim alayhi salam say, oh Allah, don't disgrace me on that day of resurrection. يَوْمَ لَا يَنْفَعُ مَالُ وَلَا بَنُونَ On that day, the wealth, neither the children, that is the human, the manpower, none of that will help. None of that will help. يَوْمَ لَا يَنْفَعُ مَالُ وَلَا بَنُونَ إِلَّا مَنْ أَتَى اللَّهَ بِقَلْبٍ سَلِيمٍ إِلَّا مَنْ أَتَى اللَّهَ بِقَلْبٍ سَلِيمٍ Except for man who reaches Almighty Allah, who comes with the content and with the pleas and with the pure heart to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Only he will be successful in the Akhya. Only the one whose heart is pure, who has trained his desire, not the physical. Allah is not looking at our physical appearance. But Allah is looking at your action and your heart. What is your condition of your heart? What is the condition of your heart? If a person is doing ibadah, but he is very arrogant, he is very arrogant, every day he is worshipping, his salah has not bought, his salah has not trained him, he has not become humble, he has become very arrogant, it is a disease of heart. A man who has arrogance, he will never ever enter. In fact, our beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, he will never smell the Jannah. He not even he will smell the fragrance of Jannah. He will be born. Because it is a disease of our heart. My dear respected brothers and elders in Islam, why can't we concentrate and see what is the problem I have? Why am I finding, why I am getting angry? When you are becoming angry too much, you must know there is something wrong with your heart. Something wrong with your heart. When you don't have desire and interest in taste in ibadah, then you should know there is something wrong in my heart. When I feel angry, when I look and become jealousy, a person in my company, he came after me and now he has come up. He is overtaking me. You are looking at him, you are having this jealousy and you are plotting against him. There is something wrong in your heart. There is something wrong in your heart. My dear respected brother, the first crime that is committed in human history, it is a, it is a murder. It happens through a jealousy. It happens through a jealousy. The sons of Adam alayhi salam, one of the brother, Allah bestowed him everything, gave him a beautiful wife. And Allah, because at that time they didn't have many options. 
Only few options. And Allah selected him to have a beautiful wife. And Allah accepted his qurban. One person's heart was filled with, desire, filled with desire and jealousy. Other person's heart was contained with Allah's vision. This is what a contained heart, a purified heart was content with the desire of Allah. You know what did he say? His brother said, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. You know what the other brother, his reply was? Even if you raise your hand to kill me, ma ana I will not extend, I will not raise my hand to kill you. Why? Inni Allah Rabbal Alameen. I'm fearing the Lord of this universe. I'm fearing Him. I will never do. Even if you are trying to kill me, I will never do. I will not do because I am content. I'm fearing Allah. If I die in this condition, I am a shaheed. I will never do this. My dear respected brothers and elders in Islam, each and every one of us, you know, we can beautify and we can, you know, beautify our physical appearance. You know, go it nice, we have a religious appearance, do everything. But only we and Allah knows what is the condition of our heart. No one else can judge that. Allah has kept that for Himself. Allah has kept that for Himself. Allah wants for His slave. You can have, you could have been committed so much of sin. But if sincerely, if sincerely, from bottom of your heart, if you return to Allah, Tawbatan Nasuha, if you return to Allah and say, Oh Allah, I have done all this. Oh Allah, I want to lead another life. I need a change, Ya Allah. Please accept me. Allah is there to accept our prayer. Allah is there to accept our Tawbah. But He wants sincerity. The sincerity never comes if there is, dis if is disease in your heart. If there is disease in your heart, sincerity will never ever come. Sincerity only comes if your heart is pure. If your heart is pure, if you are doing only things to all, to please Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My respected brothers and elders in Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explains in Holy Quran the purpose why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He mentioned three reasons. One is to invite people towards Allah. Yatlu alayhim ayatihi, that is da'wah. Giving da'wah, even what I'm doing is da'wah. It is da'wah alone will not make us perfect. We can invite people. There are so many people who invite. May Allah forbid. Allah protect us. Allah protect all the ulama, the lecturers, the speakers right from the world. Give sincerity to them. My respected brothers, we can speak. Our beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam on his return or on his journey to Mi'raj. He saw many people who were speaking but they never practiced. They were dying. They never practiced because their hearts was not for you. So Allah never gave them opportunity. May Allah forbid. It's da'wah. First purpose is inviting people to a second way you the him to purify human beings. Purify our heart. Purify our heart. That is purify is not only the inner and outer both. Our physically also a purified life we have to live. A person, there are some people in our world, in our society say, whatever we do, they say, you know, our heart is pure. His actions are not pure. Actions are not acceptable, but he say our heart is pure. My dear sister, this is no. If your heart is pure, that your actions will automatically become pure. Automatically your action will be pleasing Almighty Allah. You are doing an act which is not pleasing Allah and saying your heart is pure. No, that is not accepted by Allah. So your heart will follow, which will guide, which will instruct your action what to do. My respected brothers and elders in Islam, this heart has to be pure. Purify the heart. And wa yu'allimuhumul kitab wal hikmah. Educating the ummah. Educating the ummah, there is two knowledge mentioned there. One is called hikmah, the wisdom, which is which has been explained as tafsir as a hadith, and the practical knowledge. And then, wa al kitab is the wahi, it is a knowledge from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Both together, and all three together, a human being becomes perfect. You need to invite people and purify our heart. My dear respected brothers and elders in Islam, let us concentrate and look at ourselves. Our life has become so busy, we do not have time for ourselves. We don't have time to sit even in our prayers. 
Even in our prayer, we don't have time to think about ourselves. Where is my condition? The attention? Nothing is there. We have become so busy with our, you know, with our family life and with our business and with our commercial activities and so many things. We don't have time for ourselves. We are concentrating so much on other things and then when a problem comes, we struggle. We find difficult. There is no... My respected brothers, if our heart is to you, and if our heart has found, you know, that contentment in this world, any challenges in this world, it can be any calamity, can be a difficult situation, my respected brothers, he will be calm, he will not struggle. Allah says in Holy Quran about the Musalli, about the people who pray, whose heart is pure, he, they are enjoying the Salah, they will never ever be struggling and rushing here and there. They will never rush on anything. They will not, they will not go on and when there is a trouble, they will be very calm. Ayyub alayhi salam, he was tested with a calamity, a disease, which in a human history nobody witnessed. A, such a bad disease. He was, but he was content. When his beloved wife said, Why can't you raise your hand and ask Allah? You are the prophet of Allah. You are very close to Allah. Why can't, why can't you ask to remove the disease away? You know what did he say? For 70 years Allah gave me a very, very luxurious life. Allah gave me everything. Only for seven years I am struggling. Why cannot be? Why can't I be patient until Allah decides to remove? Because his heart was contained with the addition of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yusuf alayhi salam, he was thrown into the, he was put in, uh, unjustly he was put into the jail. He did not struggle, he was contained. He said, this is an opportunity given to me by Allah. If I don't invite the people who is in jail, the prisoners, if I don't invite, who is going to invite them? This is the opportunity given to me. I'm going to make use of it. He was contained. My dear respected brother, Yaqub alayhi salam, he lost his own son. He lost his own son, Yusuf alayhi salam, beloved son. He was very sad. But what did he say? He said, فَصَبْرٌ جَمِيلٌ فَصَبْرٌ جَمِيلٌ اللَّهُ الْمُسْتَعَانِ The most beautiful patient. Patient of thought. They were content. Our beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, so much of trial, so much of disturbance, so much of animosity. But what did he do? He was contained. He was happy. He was pleased with the addition of Allah. With the addition of Allah, this is what Allah is testing me. I will do what I can and wait to Allah, wait to Allah's command. My dear respected brothers and elders in Islam, why I am bringing this? Our beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught us we need to give time for ourselves in order. Now our life is so busy, we need a time to take ourselves away from all those things and only stay in seclusion for a time. Our beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam shows this. Practically, he demonstrated this in month of Ramadan. In month of Ramadan, the last ten days he was in Aitikaf. Why? The Aitikaf? Aitikaf is, my dear beloved brother, you need to stay inside the masjid. That is the clear, that is the proper Aitikaf. Full time. Ten days you don't go. No connection. Inside the masjid, you have your iPad, you have your internet connection, you have your mobile phone. No. Although you are inside, you are already outside. Because you are busy with the world, you are busy with the world, seclude yourself, keep yourself away from entire things and concentrate on yourself. Put it down, I have this problem, I have this, why can't I connect myself with Almighty Allah? And then you will see what is wrong with you. What is wrong with you? My dear respected brothers and elders in Islam, we have time for everything. We go on a business trip, sacrificing our families for weeks, two weeks, ten days. We go out in so many ways, for so many things, because in order to fulfill our achievement, fulfill our needs or whatever it is. But this is the real need. If we are not going to take care of our soul, if we are not going to give time for our soul, in order to think and do that, my respected brothers, may Allah forbid, in the time of death, our soul will not reach Almighty Allah in a condition where the soul is pleased and Allah is pleased with soul. Allah expect our soul to reach Allah 
in a very content and happy way that soul is pleased with Allah. When the soul is going to be pleased, if we are fulfilling, if you are obeying Allah, the soul will wait to reach Allah subhanahu wa Reach Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In Yarmouk, in the battle of Yarmouk, Abu Ubaid ibn Jarrah radiallahu an was the Amir. The battle this took place in the time of Abu Bakr Siddiq In the battle of Yarmouk, a normal, a normal, just a member of the army, a just young man, a Rajul, Hadith said a Rajul, and you know he was so content, so happy, waiting to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My respected brothers, ask your question, if your heart is pure, if you are content with Allah, you will expect Allah, you will be ready to die now. Ask yourself, are you ready to die now? Are you ready to meet Allah now? Or you want some more time? If you want time, that means your heart is not pure. You are not happy and content with Allah. And Allah is not happy with your soul. Ask yourself, this young man comes to Abu Ubaidah ibn Jarrah and says, Hey, yatuli amri, I have ready, I have prepared myself for my matter, for my mission. What? To then break Allah. To become a shaheed. And you see the conviction what he has. He said, Do you have any need, any message do you have that I must give to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? How pleased he is, how content he is, how confirm he is. I am going to meet our beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He is going to welcome me. I am going to be a shaheed. He is content. He asked, do you have a need? Do you have a message to give Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Abu Ubaid ibn Jarrah radiallahu anhu said, what did he say? He said, Sati'ani salam, convey my salam to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Fakul, wadadna ma'u'adana rabbuna haqqa. And tell, or tell, inform him that whatever Allah has promised us, whatever he promised us, that we have read, that we have got that. Whatever he has promised. My dear respected brothers, ask yourself, are you ready to me? We have born in this world to live and die. Are we ready to die now? If you are not ready to die, that means our heart is not pure. We are not content. We must be ready any time. So we need to make effort, take some time. My respected brothers, we are in the end of the month of Rajat and we are expecting the month of Sha'ban and expecting the month of Ramadan. Why I humbly request each and every one of you. This is the Ibadah where there is no different opinion in scholars. There is no different opinion in scholars. The Eshika of his Sunnah Mu'akkara makes some time. In Europe and Western world, people are so busy what we say, they have got into a busy life. But now already they are, they are campaigning and they are inviting people for Eshika. I saw so many emails, they are saying this year going to be the first 10 days Eshika in Medina. Who is ready to join him, please, you know, book your seat. You know, one week ago, I think one and a half week ago, I want to book a place for one of my friends. He wanted to go and spend some time. He had so much of trouble. I told him, you go to Medina, meet this sheikh, spend these 10 days in Etikaf, Allah will solve your problem. Allah will show you a way. You know, when I was trying to book that, they say, house is full. No more registration. Book. People are competing. People are competing two months ahead. In Masjid Al-Haram, in Masjid Al-Nabawi, in Masjid Al-Aqsa, it's booked. Who is going to go and make a tikaf in those holy places? Allahu Akbar. If we are unable to even go there, at least in the Masjid Jamia Masjid in our vicinity. Why can't we go and request the alim in our society? So, why don't you design a program, a tikaf program, full time we're going to be in the Masjid. Full time, not going, no phone calls, no email checking, nothing, 10 days, nothing going to happen, my dear sister and brother. You're not going to lose out. Yeah, you're going to work out. Take your time and concentrate how you can give time to your soul. Think about yourself, connect yourself with Allah, and I'll tell you, you will enjoy, and after that, you will wait for that Ramadan. When is the next Ramadan going to come? Where I'm going to go for Aitika. My dear respected brothers and elders in Islam, please, I humbly request all of you, this is the problem in the society. Why we have not identified who we are. We have ego problems, we have arrogance, jealousy, all these are disease of heart. Physically, all the movements of Dawah have made effort and made us intelligent in Islam. 
We know Islam very well. We are ready to argue whether it's sahih or da'if or bid'ah or sunnah. But when you come to our heart, everybody is zero. Your physical appearance has changed. We have adapted the custom. We are following the sunnah. We are doing everything. We are even wearing the top as a fashion. Everything has come by my respected brother. But inside our heart is still hollow. Heart is still hollow. So make some time. And I humbly request all the masjids, all the masjid trustees to make some arrangement with a humble imam. Get a great imam and get him and get the people registered and do it in such way where people will benefit, purify their heart and etikaf will be done. My respected brothers, etikaf is something else, going on jamaat is something else. Going on jamaat is something else. Don't miss up things. If you want to go jamaat, you go on jamaat. Etikaf is not jamaat. In jamaat you have a different rule. You go talim, you go gash, you do everything. But don't mix up with etikaf and that. Etikaf is full time in the masjid. You do not go out. You are not giving da'wah. You are only concentrating on your soul. You are only listening to the advice. You are only concentrating on zikr and tilawah and salah. This is what has to be done. My respected brothers and sisters in Islam, concentrate on that. Take, take, make some time and make some effort wherever you are. And the Kuriya, Shahoda Kuriya, Allah and Allah, Indra Yuriya, Juma Uriya, Saram Sam, Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala, Namaki Sandaraka Kuriya, Yamat El, Arut Kuray Hill, Mihum Kiman and Tan, Allah, Egalam Ganyamana, or Mani than Allah, Paditaka. Mani than Uriya. Manizan in the Sulum Bodu, and the Pahadir Kuri, Undu Manizan Udi, Odel, Matas, Manizan Udi, Uirum, Aundi, Nasso Mahar. In the Ula Hatil, Ella Adatil, in the Manizan Udi, Udanudi, Tevi Kapindi, Palam Yetchi Hill, Palas Kandapuri Puhel, Kalam, Panam, Neram, Anatum, Tiam Shi, Padavi, Manizan Hill, Inba Maha, and Udanudi, Inbata, our Sindhu Pundaka, our Anatim, Padatum, our Lek, Inbam, Nimadi, Sandi, Illa, or Melamar Kuri, in the Nas. Anda ur ulam ulat suri persusutam, indah ulat suri persusut kahwin ini, nama neeram kuru kahwin dom. Anda ulat suri persusut kahwin nama mesti seyum dom. Ulat suri persusutam berkhade, indah ulam Allah bayi etrukunda nela meila. Allah orang tripti arin dah nela meila. Allah anda nafsuran tripti arin dah nela meila. Rekre dal indah uira rekre, ulama rekre. Umat kuru, anda ini lelang kat sini, sel sini, umat kiri tu peshalam. Anak, anda ini ulat Manu nelayi, indah nelayi melarik ke deh, faham melarik ke lah, elarik ke firm melarik ke lah, nayaman jahat tanam melarik ke lah, kaum berda, nimba dia aktor nelayi melarik ke lah, lari itu ulat tora, ulat tora nafsu tora, sambandha patan noi kelah melarik ke deh, indah nafsu tora sambandha patan noi kelah melarik ke deh, Allah ini sendiri kum bodoh, indah asma, amei dia ada indah nelayi melar, sand dia ada indah nelayi melar, Allah ini satu kund nelayi melar, ada indah kundal ban, indah asma itu engel ke bete melarik ke deh, Ibrahim alaihi salam kita doa. يا الله قيامة رينالي إني إلى وقابي يوم يخذني يوم يخذني يوم لا ينفع مال ولا بنون يا الله إني إلى فترة بوليا أن قيامة رينالي إني إلى وقابي أن بنالي إلا من أتى الله بقلب سليم ساند أريد أن لم يلا يارو أن أولم ساند أريد أن لم يلا وار وار أرسله أبرك لي سبيرة متى أني وروم إلى وقابي بدوار هل متى أني وروم كيف سيدتي إلى وقابي أن بكرية شكوذا ركلي الله بن نلل يعمل Suratul Shamsil, Allah Hakku Subhanahu Wa Taala. Eli Tanawi, Surya Nin Mide, Sandra Nin Mide, Anis Wasikal Nin Mide, Eli Tanawi Sak Sakti Amit Pe. Adik Kepin Nal, Allah Puruk Kepin Puri Jawab Nal, Kad Asla Haman Zakka. Ullah Tei Purushut Ta Padit Yur Tan Vitti Ayda. Awar Tan Vitti Ayda Indar Kala. Anwa Anis Boda Kala Quranil, Wele Engge Yum Allah Purushia Eli Edutil Sakti Am Edutil Ayi Illa Undu Rendu Allah Be Muno. Ana Indar Budiya Tei Sulum Pul Allah Eli Wasikal Nin Mide. Satyam sendiri tu kepinalan Allah anda jawab semran anda asam udah jawab anda satu sudah jawab apapun baru anda kuri syukur terkali Allah menalar dia ni hari ini urut sendiri nama beri kuda dengan indah ulat tu dia persis tu kahwe ni ni neeram kuda ponam orang mihom bijian mihom bijian wal keler krom ya waram tulil kurumba mindo odi kunder krom tulil gayil concentration illa tulil gayil amai illa illa neeram sendiri beri sendana mobile phoneum illa neeram sendiri adunal anbaan syukur terkali indah ulat tu dia amai ini ulat tu dia persis 
நிமித்தம் உள்ளத்தை சுத்தப்படுத்த வேண்டும் என்றால் எங்களுக்கு எங்களோட உள்ளத்தில் இருக்கக்கூடிய நோய் என்ன என்றத்தை டயக்னோஸ் பண்ண வேண்டும் என்றால் அதற்கு நாம் காலம் கொடுக்கணும் ரசூலுவாஹி சல்லா அலி வசல் அவர்கள் உம்மத்துக்கு இதை படித்து தந்து போனார்கள் குறைஞ்சது குறைஞ்சது ரமதானுடைய மாதத்துல கடைசி பத்தாவது எல்லாத்தையும் விட்டு குடும்பத்தை ஒதுக்குங்க வியாபாரம் எல்லாத்தையும் ஒதுக்கி பத்து நாள் எவ்வளோ நாளும் எவ்வளோ நாட்களும் முன்னூத்தி அறுபது நாட்கள் அல்லது முன்னூத்தி ஐம்பத்தஞ்சு நாட்கள் குடும்பத்துக்கும் துணியாவுக்கும் உடலுக்கும் கொடுத்துக் கொண்டிருந்தோம் குறைஞ்சது பத்து நாள் எங்களோட ஊருக்கு எங்களோட ரூபுக்கு எங்க கல்வுக்கு நப்புக்கு நேரத்தை கொடுங்க அன்புக்குரிய சகோதரர்களே அல்லாஹு நல்ல தியாசலே ஐசி காஃபில் வச்சதிலே இருக்கணும் மொபைல் போனும் அந்த உங்களோட பேதல் அதை கொண்டு இமெயில செக் பண்றதும் அதுக்கு பதில் கொடுக்கறதும் அந்த செக் பண்றதும் இது செஞ்சா அந்த நீங்க பள்ளியில உடலுதான் இருக்குது உங்களோட உயிரும் கன்சென்ட்ரேஷனும் வேற எங்க இருக்குது அன்புக்குரிய சகோதரர்களே அல்லாஹு நல்ல தியாசலே அல்லாஹ் எதிர்பார்க்கறது நாம் எங்களோட உள்ளம் எங்களோட நஸ் எங்களோட ஆத்மா அல்லாஹ் சந்திக்கும் போது அல்லாஹ் புரிந்து கொண்ட நிலைமையில ஆத்மா அல்லாஹ் புரிந்து கொண்ட நிலைமை அன்பு குறிச்சு போது யாருக்கு சொல்ல முடியும் நான் அல்லாஹ் சந்திக்க ரெடி யார்கிட்ட உள்ளம் அந்த நிலைமையில் இருக்குதோ இப்ப இப்ப ஆசைங்க உங்களுக்கு மவுத்து வரணும் நீங்க நேரடியாக சொருத்தத்துக்கு போகும் நீங்க தயாராக இருந்தால் அதுக்கு தயாராக இருந்தால் அப்ப நீங்க விளங்கிக்கோங்க இப்ப நல்ல நிலைமையில் இருக்குது பின்னான லோய் வாய்ப்படலாம் பின்னால நோய் வாய்ப்படலாம் அன்பான சகோதரர்களே எருமூக்குடைய யுத்தத்துல ஒரு சாதாரண தளபதி வந்து அபுபைதாபின் ஜர்ரா நதி எல்லா சொல்றாங்க சுருக்கமா சொல்றாங்க என்னென்னா நான் சகாதத்துக்கு ரெடியாக வந்திருக்கிறேன் எவ்வளவு அமைதி நான் நிலையில உடல் ஆடைகளை அணிஞ்சு குளிச்சு தயாராகி கல்யாணத்துக்கு போக தயாராகிறத போல மௌத்தாக தயாராகிறாரு குளிச்சு தயாராகிட்டு வந்து அபுபைதாபின் ஜர்ரா நதி எல்லா சொல்றாரு நான் என் விடயத்துக்கு தயாராக இருக்கிறேன் உங்களுக்கு நவிக்கு சொல்ல வெளிநாடுகள் <laughs> வழிகாட்டு <laughs> முரண்படாத முறையில் அதை செய்ய வேண்டும் அன்புக்குரிய சகோதரர்களே மதீனாவிலும் மசூது அக்தாலையும் மசூது அரசுக்கு இது எல்லாம் நிறைஞ்சிருக்கிறது என்னுடைய நண்பர் ஒன்றுக்கு நான் அங்க புக்கிங் செய்ய போற நேரத்தில் சொன்னாங்க ரெண்டு ஒன்னரை கிழமைக்கு முன்னால சொன்னாங்க ஹவுஸ் ஸ்கூல் இந்த அளவுக்கு நல்ல விடயத்துக்காக எவ்வளவு போட்டிடுறாங்க இந்த விடயத்துக்காக போட்டி செய்யறாங்க அன்பான சகோதரர்களை அல்லாவி நல்ல குறைஞ்சபட்சம் எங்களுடைய நச்சுதல நிர்வாகிகளுடன் பேசி அவர் உளவாக்களுடன் பேசி ஷேக்மாருடன் பேசி அவங்களை அணுகி அந்த புரோக்ராமை எங்களுக்கு செய்ய முடியும் என்றால் அன்பான சகோதரர்களை அல்லாவி நல்லதியாக எங்களுக்கு நல்ல நிலைமை அடையலாம் அதில் ஒரு இன்பம் இருக்குது அதுல ஒரு ருசி இருக்குது அதை நீங்க ருசிச்சீங்கன்னா ஒவ்வொரு வருஷமும் ரமதான் வரும் வரைக்கும் எதிர்பார்த்து கொண்டே இருப்பீங்க அன்புக்குரிய அல்லாவின் நல்லடியாக அதனால் நாம் காலம் நேரத்தை கொடுத்து 
உன் அல்லா சுபானோ தாலா நம் அனைவருக்கும் கிருப்பை செய்ய வேண்டும் அல்லா சுபானோ தாலா எங்களுடைய பாவங்களை அனைத்தையும் மன்னித்து அவன் விரும்பக்கூடிய முறையில் எங்களோட உள்ளத்தை பரிசுத்தப்படுத்தி அவன் எங்களை ஏற்றுக்கொண்டு அனைவரையும் அவன் விரும்பக்கூடிய கூட்டத்தில் நல்லா சேர்த்து வைப்பானாக நல்லா எங்களுடைய பாவங்களை மன்னிப்பாயாக கட்டெடுத்த தாய் குந்தையுடைய பாவங்களை மன்னிப்பாயாக சார் உறவினருடைய பாவங்களை மன்னிப்பாயாக எங்களை தீன சேர்த்து வைத்த மூதாதைகள் உலமாக்கள் அனைவருடைய பாவங்களை மன்னிப்பாயாக யாரெல்லாம் நம்மை சிறந்தவர்களாக வாழவிட்டு சிறந்தவர்களாக மரணிக்க செய்வாயாக யாரெல்லாம் யாரெல்லாம் இந்த வரக்கூடிய ரமலானை எட்டி வைப்பாயாக யாரெல்லாம் நல்லா வரமக்கூடிய ரமலானை அடைய பாக்கியத்தை தருவாயாக யாரெல்லாம் வரக்கூடிய ரமலானை அடைய பாக்கியம் தருவாயாக அந்த ரமலானை எந்த முறையில் கலைக்கணுமோ அந்த முறையில் கலிக்க யாரெல்லாம் நம் அனைவருக்கும் நீ தோப்பிக்கு செய்வாயாக ஆனால் அந்த ஆரம்பினார் Thank you.